Good morning, everybody. Chester P. Church Devotional Podcast. Here we go. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us again as we get started. Romans chapter 1, continuing in our reading of Romans 1. Romans 1, beginning in verse 24 this morning. Therefore, God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to dishonoring of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Here we have Paul kind of developing his argument in Romans chapter 1 about the reality of the fact that all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Everyone was without excuse. What could be made known by God, what could be made known to us about God, rather, is the best way to put that. Comes, Paul says in Romans chapter 1, 18 through 23, he talks about how God made known his invisible attributes, his divine power, his um, uh, his eternal nature, etc. He talks about all those different things being made known to us in the world around us. And he says that humans chose by their own desire and by their own volition to suppress the truth, the idea of taking a beach ball and putting it into the water and holding it under the water in a pool, suppress the truth. We choose not to acknowledge the truth. We choose to deny that reality. Though it is all around us, we choose to deny that reality. As a result of that, God gave us up. That's where we started here this morning. God gave them over to the lust of their hearts, to impurity and the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. The idea there is that God gave us up to what we wanted. Three times in Romans chapter 1, Paul will say God gave them up. You suppress the truth. We all suppress the truth. Humans suppress the truth about God. We choose to go in our own way. We choose to try to do things our own way. We choose to try to exert our own control over the world around us. We try to act as if we are in charge when God is in charge. And so God gave us up to that. We choose to ignore the truth, and God gave us up. God gave us up to uh, the lust of our hearts, to impurity, the dishonoring of bodies among themselves and to among ourselves. Here, here's the thing that, that Paul says the Bible teaches us, I think it's important for us to understand. We were made to live in a relationship with God. We were made to honor God. We were made to know God. When we choose not to do that in our sin, we rebelled against him. We go in a different direction. That doesn't mean that God allows us to go as far into our sin and as far away from him as we possibly could go or want to go. Um, he still restrains us with what called common grace with things that we see in the world around us and experiences of our lives. But if we continue to push against him, right, we continue to push against him, he will then enable us to feel the effects of our sin more and more. Kind of like parents uh, with their children, right? You put put boundaries there and uh, you put parameters on their behaviors. Well, they can choose to reject your authority over them, but you still then put larger parameters upon them, at least to try to protect them the best that you can. And eventually, you got to come into and say, you know what, if you're determined to continue to move in the direction you're going, which is not good for you, uh, which is contrary to the way you should live your life, the contrary to the way we're calling you to live your lives, because we know we've been there, we've lived that life, and we say to our children, all right, that's fine, maybe you need to get a taste of what the consequences of your action are. And so in some sense, we give them up to those decisions. We give them up to those actions that they are determined to do. And so we call it tough love. And so God does that with his people. And part of experiencing his wrath is God giving us over. Uh, we don't want to be in a situation where God gives us over to a lust of our hearts. God gives us over to the dishonoring of our bodies. He specifically says here that he gives us over to the dishonoring of the body and to the lust of the heart. He's speaking specifically in the context of Romans. He is speaking specifically, Paul is, about sexual immorality. He's going to talk about that more tomorrow uh, on Monday when we look at the next section of Romans chapter 1. But he's talking about how we are given over to uh, sexual immorality and the dishonorable use of our bodies. And then it says, because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie. Worship the creature rather than the creator. And so we have a great exchange. So we gave up God and God's given us up. We've exchanged the truth that we can see around us in our sin and God gave us over to that sin. Here's the, here's the thing though. There is hope for us always because God so loved the world. And so the idea is that God keeps us from going as far. He might give us up to them, but he's not going to give us over to them if we are his people. 
And as he keeps us to some degree within the confines of his uh, loving embrace. And so then he uh, shows us in moments of grace his great love for us and that Jesus Christ came for us. And so the challenge for us, if we're followers of Christ, is to respond bond to his grace and repent of our sins, but it's also to speak to others who are around us who may not understand the extent to which they have gone and the way they are wandering away from God and God is removing boundaries. You don't want to be in a situation where God has removed all boundaries from you because then you will fly down into a path of destruction and there will be no hope for you. So the idea is that God continues to place us in positions to receive the gifts of his grace, even if it's common grace, and boundaries and parameters so that we can continue to catch those moments of grace and then repent of our sins. You guys have a great day. God bless you. I'll catch you tomorrow as we continue on, or Monday as we continue on in our study of the book of Romans. Mm -hmm.